Hello and welcome to Java Practice. Uh, in this tutorial, I will explain to you how to download and uh, install the JDK or the Java Development Kit for Fedora or any RPM based Linux such as CentOS, Red Hat. Um, so to download the JDK, first of all, go to this website, the link of which is provided in the description box below. And uh, just uh, scroll down and find this list and in this list you will have many different uh, JDKs for different hardware and software combinations and uh, for me <coughs> I'm on a 32-bit machine and I'll just download the i586.rpm file and uh, we will install that one now I have already downloaded it and uh, I'm running Fedora on a virtual machine but uh, you don't have to worry about that the installation is pretty much similar uh, so to install the uh, RPM file we will just navigate to the downloads folder so we just click places downloads and here we have our package the RPM package just double click this and then click install and it will resolve the dependencies and install this package enter the password and it has finished installing it now we close this folder and let's go to our command prompt and let's see if Java is installed now we need uh, two programs for our development process we need the Java program and we need the Java C program what the Java C program is it's the Java compiler all programs that we'll write in the Java language will be compiled into bytecode using the Java C program and the Java program is the Java time environment uh, all the bytecode that we will get after compiling will be ran on the Java virtual environment so let's see if we have access to the Java C program use dash version to check if it is installed and if it is the latest version and as you can see it says Java 1.7.0-03 which is the latest version now let's check if we have the latest version of Java uh, it is installed but uh, it is uh, the wrong version we want the 1.7 version and it is the 1.6 version so that is a slight problem now, <coughs> Fedora ships with a uh, JVM, but uh, at the time of, of its shipping, uh, it may have an older version of the JVM. So, to fix that, we need to update the alternatives. Now, the command line has two alternatives. When we say the Java command, we, it can call uh, what is supplied with the Fedora distribution, or it can also call what we have installed. Uh, right now it is calling or invoking the program that is shipped with the Fedora distribution so we need to update the alternatives of Fedora and to do that we need to become the super user uh, which we already are uh, if you don't know how to become the super user you just type the su command su command and you type enter and give the password um, uh, so the command is update dash alternatives uh, sorry double dash config space java and uh, as you can see that uh, there are two programs which provide java uh, and these are the two programs and uh, this symbol over here before the one means that it is calling this version and as you can see it is the version supplied with Fedora and it is the 1.6 version but we want to call this one so all you have to do just give it the option uh, if you just press enter it will <coughs> keep the current selection and if you give it a number it will change to that so now it has changed so let's see what version of Java we have now and now we have the 1.7 version so that's about it 
to installing the JDK on the Fedora or RPM based Linuxes. Uh, now remember that uh, the Java and the Java C command are very important and uh, they will be used extensively during our development processes. Um, so that's it for now and thank you for viewing.